ये जो इंडिया है ना इट इज लूजिंग इट्स फेथ इन इट्स पुलिस एंड टू टॉक अबाउट इट वीव ड्रॉन अप अ चार्ज शीट चार्ज नंबर वन आर पुलिस हैज बीन सीन डिस्ट्रॉइंग पब्लिक प्रॉपर्टी इंस्टेड ऑफ कीपिंग द पीस ड्यूरिंग द एंटी सी ए एंड एन आर सी प्रोटेस्ट द पुलिस इन सम केसेज हैव एक्चुअली कमिटेड द वायलेंस CCTV footage from Muzaffarnagar in UP shows policemen breaking the windshields of several vehicles destroying even CCTV cameras why destroy CCTV cameras to make sure that video footage of their arson would not reach the public but fortunately it has reached us all who are these policemen what are their names will they face any punishment we may never know charge number 2 Police personnel have taken political sides and have been openly communal towards citizens they are supposed to protect. SP city from Meerut, Akhilesh N Singh was seen and heard telling Muslims living in his city to go live in Pakistan. At least four people were killed in Meerut in the anti CAA NRC protests in a city that has seen communal riots in the past. An SP level officer forgets that his job is to keep the peace and not make inflammatory statements. But will Akhilesh Singh face a reprimand? Not at all. In fact, the opposite. UP's deputy CM KP Maurya told media that the SP said go back to Pakistan to stone pelting Muslims who were raising pro Pakistan slogans. But see the video. The alleged stone pelters and sloganeers are no longer there. and akhilesh singh's hate filled speech is directed at five bystanders two of whom are kids how can up's deputy cm defend this cop across india as we record this video there have been 25 deaths in the anti ca nrc protests of that number 19 people have been killed in up we should be asking why up why is the police in up particularly trigger happy are the shabashis coming from the political bosses encouraging them the quint spoke to former mumbai police chief julio ribero one of the best cops india has ever had a tough no nonsense cop he says that the politicization of our police forces is a fact and needs to stop now listen to him i myself am very uh, upset that the police today have become the handmaids of the party in power but nothing is being done about it to depoliticize the police now it is it is who who the party in power wants to be beaten up i mean not to be arraigned before the law only those are being done now this is something which is totally unacceptable okay charge number 3 often when they are most needed to prevent violence our police forces just watch violence unfold and do nothing see these visuals masked youth dozens of them armed with sticks and sledge hammers entering the jnu campus unchecked on the 5th of january after which they attacked students professors and destroyed property we've got video of all of that an indian express article says no less than 23 calls were made to the police control room reporting the violence but the delhi police did nothing there are visuals of the same gundas leaving the campus still armed and even then the police did nothing some face saving police flag march followed that's it is it any wonder that faith in the police is at an all time low okay let's accept the excuse we shouldn't but let's accept for a bit that the police man's job in the time of caa and nrc protests is a tough one political pressure hota hai etc etc so So let's look at a case where there's none of that. Ek chota sa case in Mumbai. 16 year old Tarun Gupta, an autistic child with impaired speech and vision, went missing in early October 2019. There is CCTV footage that shows him at Panvel railway station on the outskirts of Mumbai for two full days. But the local police, the railway police just ignored him. They could have rescued him, but they did not. Instead a railway policeman bundled him into the luggage van of a train that took 16 year old Tarun to Savantwadi near Goa. There again there is CCTV footage of him on the railway platform. Again he was not rescued. He got on to another train headed for Mumbai but he has not been sighted after that. The police could have rescued this 16 year old at Panvel or at Savantwadi but they did not. What does this reveal about our police forces? 
अ क्रम्बलिंग वर्क एथिक डोंट वी ऑफन हियर यार पुलिस के चक्करों से दूर रहना है वाई वाई डू वी हियर दैट बिकॉज वी हैव स्टॉप सींग द पुलिस मैन एज सम वन वी कैन टर्न टू फॉर हेल्प फॉर प्रोटेक्शन फॉर जस्टिस If us ordinary citizens are going to be told by the local cop to go back to Pakistan, if we are going to see our car windshields being destroyed by our cops, if they are going to watch as my head is split open by lathis, if the cops are going to do nothing to find my child, naturally my faith in my police is going to vanish. Ye jo India hai na, it is nothing if its police stops doing its job.